talking deadlifts. So one of Ben's wow. lifters, uh, decent weightlifter, ex CrossFitter, but really good at powerlifting. She competed in her first meet ever, uh, weighing around 65 kilos. Uh, she said her best squat, I think to date, is around 340 pounds. Best bench is 170 or so and best deadlift is around 360 or so and she's never strictly trained for powerlifting um, which is pretty insane numbers those are very strong uh, and what I learned today is that she's a very good athlete um, her deadlift is fairly solid pretty good positioning knees were just a little bit in than I'd like to see strength is specific right who's stronger Ben or some powerlifter will at what sport and I think mobility and flexibility is just as specific uh, so unless you're doing an underload in that exact position it may not uh, transfer um, and then, so the last piece is, yeah, you're, you're a little stiff in the hips, so um, let's try pointing your toes out just a hair more. Okay. Stance the same, and then, uh, so maybe you're about here. We'll just sneak those toes out about an inch, and then really try to get those knees way out there. Okay. So what I've been sort of practicing this week is when I'm trying to get my tension and get my knees out. Yeah. And maybe you, you can help me figure out the best way to do this. Yeah, yeah. I've been kind of getting the slack out of the bar here. Yeah. And then pushing these out here. Yeah, so. Does that work? That's perfect, except um, your knees are going forward just a hair. Yeah. And what we want is uh, to get that tension just with your back and everything just like that, but fall backwards. Uh, so kind of watch them from the side. Okay. So you're almost about here. And you get that tension and everything's fine. But then you start to bend your knees forward and hips under you, kind of into something like this. Rather, I'd have you fall backwards and use this weight as a counterweight and pull yourself up. Ooh. So I think about locking all this in, just like you are, flexing my lats, big breath, and then I think about pushing this whole kind of system that way. Knees out, that way. So I'm thinking about getting my shins as vertical as I can. So I'll take a big breath, flex my lats, flex my low back, get that bar close to me and just fall back. And then from here, now the weight just kind of walks in. Having your knees travel forward or in uh, for the majority is not optimal on the deadlift. And I know someone's gonna comment below, well, Sal and Sal does it. Some people can get away with it because you can get some quad in there depending on how long your torso and arms are. Um, but for the average, we really want vertical shins, knees out, um, as upright torso as allows, uh, and to get our tension back in those hips. I've talked about it so many times in the form video that we keep going over, but you wanna lock in your lats, lock in your midline, get your weight falling backward, kind of use that uh, barbell to not only pull the slack, but almost teeter-totter backwards as a counterweight as I'm forcing the knees out. And then once you're locked in, tension in the hamstrings and glutes, you will feel the tension. You'll feel time that like, dang, it's time to pull, I'm gonna fall, or my hamstrings are gonna explode. And then from there, hopefully you just flex your quads and you literally just kind of squat and stand the weight up. Um, it's gonna feel a little bit different. It's gonna feel a little bit weird for many people. And that's why I suggest uh, for almost everybody to conventional deadlift for a while, um, build up your back strength, build up the technique of the hip hinge, which we've talked so much about. Uh, you don't wanna hinge on your erectors. You wanna hip hinge, locking and loading, flexing your lats, flexing your midline. Uh, overall, she did awesome. She has two weeks and then she's going to do a deadlift meet only, deadlift only meet um, for funsies. Uh, but I'm excited. Maybe we'll come back and work with her again on her squat and bench and see where she heads strength wise. Because those numbers, um, although they're not world records, um, they're very, very strong with very minimal, what I imagine, um, proper programming, volume and training, considering she does uh, Olympic weightlifting uh, majority of the time. If you guys want more technique videos, ask your questions below. Give this a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications because we got that hot shit coming because we got that good stuff coming I had to take that five different takes because YouTube's bringing me down for dropping the s-word I'll see you guys in the next video selling Mike I'm out of here